Okay, so let's do a summary of all of these new compute services we just learned about. And the first thing is that we learned about Docker, which is a technology, a container technology that allows you to run applications. And we've seen how to run Docker on AWS. The first way is to use ECS, and this is going to allow you to run your Docker containers on EC2 instances, but you have to provision these instances in advance. For Fargate, it is the exact same way, but this time we run the Docker containers without provisioning the infrastructure. It is uh, transparent to us, and that makes Fargate a serverless offering because we don't manage any EC2 instances to run these Docker containers. These Docker containers can be stored on AWS using ECR, which is a private Docker images repository. And we've also seen about the batch service. Batch allows you to run batch jobs on AWS across a set of managed EC2 instances. And actually, the batch service actually runs on top of the ECS service. We've finally seen about a new type of service to run predictable and low pricing simple applications and database stacks, which is LightCell which is most likely going to be a distractor at the exam, but we've done a hands-on and now we know what to expect and how this service works. So now let's talk about Lambda. Lambda is going to be a serverless service, which is going to give you a capability of function as a service. And it's going to have seamless scaling, so from one invocation to thousands of invocations per second, and it's fully reactive. You have two components for building of Lambda. You have by the time run times the amount of memory provisions for your Lambda function and also by the number of times your Lambda function has been invoked. In terms of language support, it supports many different kinds of programming languages, and even though it supports container images, and they need to implement a specific runtime API, and so I like to say that Lambda does not support arbitrary Docker images. For this, you would use ECS and Fargate. But if your Docker image does implement the Lambda container runtime API, then you can run Docker images on Lambda. But this is not the standard again. The invocation time is up to 15 minutes, and the use cases for Lambda is to create thumbnails for images uploaded onto Amazon S3, for example, or to run a serverless cron job. Finally, if we wanted to expose our Lambda functions as APIs, we would use another serverless service called the API Gateway that would allow us to expose our functions as HTTP APIs, but also give us capabilities around security, throttling, API keys, and so on. So that's it for this section. I hope you liked it, and I will see you in the next section.